local history, local culture, local events, your community. This is the Joe Kelly Show. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Dave Dudayek's our guest. Dave, longtime editor, journalist in our area, 47 years in the newspaper business, 40 of them at the Observer Dispatch, from which he recently retired. We're going to be talking to Dave about a whole bunch of things, writing, journalism, local history. But before we do any of that, we're going to say, Dave, welcome to the show. Good to see you again, my friend. It's good to see you, Joe. Thanks for, uh, thanks for inviting me in. Yep. And uh, thanks for putting up with the, uh, the way we have to do things now with the social distancing, but we'll get through it very nicely indeed. Dave, 47 years. Uh, I'll st it didn't start with EOD. It started up at the uh, Rome Sentinel, yes? Yes, it did. I started there in 1972 uh, uh, as a general assignment reporter, which I think is a... Uh, a great way to uh, to begin a career in journalism. Mm -hmm. uh, general assignment reporting is uh, you get a little taste of everything, and uh, and that's what I did. and And it was a it was a wonderful place to begin a career, uh, uh, even to finish one. Really, it was a uh, it uh, the George and Shirley Waters were uh, were in charge at the time. Uh, wonderful people to work for, and uh, and they had a great staff and. Uh, uh, it was uh, it was the old time stuff that you remember, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the glue pots and the copy paper and the <laughs> editor sl uh, s snapping the copy paper out of the typewriter oh, on the yeah. first take uh, uh, when you were writing a story if it was on deadline and uh, um, not like today and, and, and there's advantages to today obviously. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it was uh, it was a different it was a different animal. If you started there in 72, Dave, you started right out of college, yes? Right out of college, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I graduated from college on one, on one, week, one week and started the job the next. Uh, actually got married the next uh, and, uh, and started that Monday. It was, a, it was a, if I had to be that busy now, I don't know <laughs> what I'd do, but it was, uh, it was an interesting time. Where did you go to school, Dave? I went to Utica College mm -hmm. and uh, majored in English and uh, with a minor of sorts in, in journalism with, uh, with the classic professors there, uh, Ray Simon and uh, Jack Behrens. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a special era there too. They were institutions in themselves, those two guys. Yeah, yeah, they were. The, uh, uh, you mentioned the Waters family. The Waters family still uh, owns and operates the uh, Rome Sentinel. And back in that day, they, if I remember my history correctly, you went from the Rome Sentinel to the Clinton Courier, which was owned by the Sentinel then, yes? I did. Uh, they, uh, the Boyntons, Jack and Bill Boynton, uh, were brothers, and they were graduates of Hamilton, and they loved Clinton so much that after they graduated, they decided to uh, become part of the community, and uh, they bought the Clinton Courier, which was a newspaper, a weekly newspaper, as well as a print shop. And uh, Bill didn't want anything to do with the journalism. He, he was the printer. And uh, Jack didn't want anything to do with printing, so it was a it was a it was a nice uh, nice partnership between the two brothers. Uh, and Bill um, Bill handled the printing, and Jack handled the uh, the, the news. And um, and it was um, when the Sentinel bought it in uh, I believe it was seventy five seventy six is when they bought it, and um, they wanted me to go down there and because uh, Jack had never had a vacation as a weekly editor. Uh, owning your own paper, he, he never had a vacation. And he, uh, he decided that uh, he was going to take a week's vacation uh, when he stayed home because uh, I guess he didn't know what to do with himself because he worked all the time. But um, I went down to learn the operation and, uh, and then, uh, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't too long thereafter. I did it again and uh, and it wasn't too long after that that uh, Jack became ill, and uh, I was asked by my boss at Rome to go down there and keep the uh, keep the paper going while Jack recovered. And unfortunately, Jack passed away, mm -hmm. and uh, my uh, two-week stint turned into two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, I had a ball. Uh, it was a uh, it was a great a great. It's a great community. It still is. Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, an opportunity for me that I was 25 years old and I didn't know anything, uh, but although I thought I knew everything. 
but uh, I learned so much. Uh, it was again the old operation. You yeah. know, I, I I covered the store. I went out and covered the meetings and wrote the stories, and and they set the type, and then I pasted it up uh, on the uh, on the old sheets. You remember those, Joe? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. And uh, and it was uh, it was uh, it was quite an operation. And they took the pages uh, to Rome, had them printed. And I believe it was printed, actually, I think it was printed in Oneida, because uh, it was a tabloid, and mm -hmm. the Sentinel was a broadsheet. Yeah. That's the broadsheet is the one term. Of, one of the uh, uh, advantages you've had, Dave, over the years is working with some uh, great journalists, and uh, the uh, Sentinel had a couple. Before we get to the OD, uh, the Sentinel had a couple. I'm thinking of Fritz Updike and Dave Swanson. Yeah, Fritz was, uh, Fritz was the editor when I was there, and. Fritz was, uh, he was an institution uh, in Rome, and uh, he had been there, yeah, I think Fritz started there in the 20s. And, um, and he was, uh, I mean, he was like a legendary, he knew everything about the base, that's when the base was going full tilt. And uh, he, was, uh, he was an expert on that. He was also a very, uh, very well-informed uh, Guy on the historian on the Civil War, yeah. he was a Civil War buff to the to the uh, to the hilt, and he uh, he knew a lot of uh, he, he you couldn't fool him on anything about the Civil War. He was, uh, of course, and, the, and then the, the Revolutionary War because you know Rome played obviously played a major role in that, and um, and yeah, and Dave Swanson was uh, Dave was uh, um, just about a year or two older than me. He had been there a year or two. Uh, when I came there, and uh, Dave became uh, the news editor, and uh, and then the managing editor, and he was uh, Dave was a history. They believe Dave had been a history major in college, and he was very history oriented. And I, I at that time wasn't. Um, I had never really delved in too much to history, but the bicentennial was coming up, uh, America's bicentennial, and uh, it, co it was coordinated with the reconstruction of Fort Stanwix. And they were excavating Fort Stanwix at the time, and, uh, and I was assigned to cover a lot of the, uh, there, was a, there was a gentleman by the name of Dick Shu, and he was an archeologist uh, from Washington, and he was in charge of the dig. And, uh, and Dick, uh, Dick would always call me whenever they, they would find something. <laughs> And, uh, and then we put out a bicentennial edition, uh, and Dave was in charge of that, and he assigned me, uh, it made me kind of the lead reporter on, on that edition. It was a four-section specialist section, and um, covered everything about uh, America's role, or the Mohawk Valley's role, actually, in, uh, in, the, in the Revolutionary War. And that's, that's when I really started uh, doing some research on some of the things that Samuel Kirkland and his relationship with Skenandoa in Clinton and, and uh, at the beginning of Hamilton College and, uh, and uh, General Herkimer and his role in the Valley with the Tryon County Militia and, uh, the, and, and all these things I started uh, and I became fascinated with, uh, with the role that this region yeah. played in the revolution. As you know, Joe, you, uh, you did a lot of history stuff yeah. as well. And, and we know that uh, people are always amazed when you start rattling off some of these things about what happened here. And we'll rattle off some more of those things right after this break. Okay. Dave Dudayek's our guest. Short break. Right back. <laughs> 